What's up everybody, welcome back to J Stu Wrestling and in today's video I am going to be giving you my 2023 wrestling room tour. So, this is the video where I will be showing you my action figure shelves, I'll be showing you where I store all my boxes, um, I'll be showing you what's under the arena and I'll give you a more bigger point of view of the um, top of this arena and I'll be showing you where I store stuff also and... And it's not going to be, it's, I'm going to, it's, I'm going to try to make it as long as, oh, I'm not going to try to make the video as long because I'm kind of trying to drop that habit, but, um, I'm just going to be kind of going into some depth about some things, but, um, yeah, so you've seen where I store my boxes in the past if you have watched, but if not, continue to watch this video and you will see. So, let that be said, let's start off by showing you the arena. Alrighty. First view, so this is where I just had my um, camera put up. Yes, I do use my phone because I do not have a camera, but in my opinion, this quality is pretty good. So, over here, this is the whole view of the whole entire arena that I have here. So, you can see that I have my lights that I use, and then I have a more upper light right there. Um, and then I got this, I believe, off of Amazon. It's just a, just a quick thing just to have. Maybe in the future, I'll change it out, but for now, this works perfect. Um, let's just start from over here. So over here we have my, um, JTW arena and, um, so this is where the wrestlers walk down, superstars walk down and then the end things right here. So here's the entire crowd and Jesus, there's the Kevin Owens. God damn it. He was right in front of my visions. Cause if you go watch my last um, video, it was my WWE elite series, one one Kevin Owens. Uh, action figure review and I was trying to look for the Kevin Owens and he's right here and there's another one that is if I zoom in you can probably see him he is right there right behind Alberto Del Rio so yeah so there's so you can see that this is all my basic action figures that I use at the arena so I have um the superstars the basic figures right here in the back um going all the way around here and you can tell that this kind of like doesn't wrap around my whole wall right here I don't want to get too close because that's kind of where my room is. I, I don't want to flash my room. But yeah, so right here, uh, the Miz is where it ends off. And then I'm going to try to show you the lighting before I show you. Oh, I'm not going to show you my room. All right, so you can see this is where my other light is. And then right over here. Um, so yeah, you can see that the um, background doesn't wrap all the way around my wall. And then um, right here, we have my announcer's table. So you can see that Stephanie McMahon and Kurt Angle are my announcers for this. I really don't have this set up very well. But I cut out my logo and I put them on the chairs and then I put them on the announcer's table. And I don't know, my opinion works pretty well. So um, right here, I don't think I have anything under the ring. I Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't. I used to store um, stuff under my ring when I first started. But then when I got more storage, that worked. So there's your overview of the arena right there. Um, pretty cool. So then we can work our way down the arena. So it's going to get kind of dark because and not really focusy here. If I put this down here, would that do any different? There, I just put my light down here. All right, so right over here, you can see that I have my old WWE um, Raw wrestling ring. Um, I got that. So quick fact, um, the Undertaker basic. So if I can find them, I'll pop this light back up here real quick. So just to give you a quick JTW fact, um, I gotta kind of scan over to see. All right, right here. So right here, this was my first ever action figure. So it was this Undertaker right here. I kind of did my own customizations because he used to have like brown hair and stuff, and he didn't have a full connected beard. But and he also lost his hand because I've had him for so long. And he came in a battle pack with not this one, but this Bray Wyatt that is right here. And it came in a battle pack with that on Bray Wyatt. And that was my first two ever action figures. And then coming down here. And the same day I got those figures, I got this ring. And I used to, I switched rooms since that time. And I moved downstairs. And I was going to originally use that ring in the videos. But I'm like, you know what? That's kind of like childish and small for what I'm wanting. So i decided to get this ring which i believe was eighty dollar ninety dollars so let's put the light right back down here come on all right all right so yeah so that was my first ever wrestling ring um the white box is the barricade i believe ultimate wrestling ring barricade yep 
place that for action figures. So that is the barricade that is right here. You can see. Um, back there is just like my stretcher and my announcer boxes, like my announcer table boxes and all the good stuff. And right here, all the brown boxes are all the ringside collectible um, box. Like, you know, all the action figures, like the wrestling, like all my action figures that I got from ringside collectibles came in these brown boxes. I don't know why I keep them. I just, I don't know why, just for like storage maybe in the future. But, and you can tell that <laughs> this is my garbage can and I haven't taken it out in a long time because... I, hey, I have a few waters in there, <laughs> and Mountain Dews and <laughs> Orange Crush, but, um, besides that, um, so moving in here, we have my, um, what is it, like my, just my regular, like, accessories, so I got chairs, ladders, I got steel, um, stairs right there, I got tables, this, this table came from Mark Henry, and this black table down here came from Devon Dudley. And the stretcher and the box is right there in the corner right there you can see and then um moving down i don't really want to pull it out all the way because it's a biatch to um close back up without um tension any of this stuff you know what? screw it why not so this is my clothes accessory bin right here you have all the rubber and cloth right here um if they're not on a superstar or on any um audience um, action figures. Um, I store them right into here. And see, that's why. And right here, I have all my busted action figures. So this is my elite Roman Reigns. That this is my first ever Roman Reigns action figure, and I kind of busted the leg off. It might have broken off his hands. This was actually in my prime of um, not knowing how to really customize. I really don't know how to um, customize or fix anything. So I kind of just glued stuff together and make do. Um, the Seth Rollins was actually one of my favorite uh, Seth Rollins basics, but he kind of lost an arm there. And I'm like, he has both of his feet, so he could stand in the crowd, but I'm on like, you know what, whatever, it's fine. So, and then here's my Jeff Hardy um, basic that came with the battle pack with Edge. Um, the Edge action figures up in the audience, you can probably see him in past videos. Um, here's my Lars Sullivan. Um, he kind of lost a foot there and they lost a hand. Um, I really and liked this Lars Sullivan action figure. It's just a pretty big, beefy figure. And maybe one day I get to customize that into a Elite. And then here's my first ever um, Matt Riddle basic. So, God, the lighting's crap, but we'll make do. So then um, I have all the Riddle Elites. And this was the first ever. This was actually the first time in the line Riddle. I believe I, ha yeah, I have his box still for this one. And then these are all empty, and that's just going to be used for different stuff. So I'm going to put the light back up here because the lighting is crap. So let me put that back up here. Yeah, so, so, so then right here you can tell that I have a old dresser. So when I moved down to my ring here, this dresser was here. So I'm like, you know what? I am just going to use that as, um, I'm just going to use that as just to store stuff in. So pull this out here. Uh, I have a tape. I have, I have a tape dispenser here that um, I haven't opened quite yet, but once this one goes down, so the tape is used for like um, taping up all the boxes. Oh, well, I already showed you all the boxes. So yeah, so you can see in past videos I showed you. So this is where I store all my boxes. So you can see it starts from, I'm gonna try not my, I'm gonna try my best not to show my room. So my room is literally right below this. So you can see that I have all my basics, and I kind of ha I have them in order from series. Um, you can see all my basic boxes right here. Then it starts off, I believe, with the Elite Series 62. Ooh, I almost slashed my room. And then these old boxes, and then it swoops all the way around. Keep on going. You can see like the evolution in um boxes here, and then it just goes all the way until, well, I suppose like these. Um, build a figures right here, but my most recent one is the um, Elite Series 101, which is Kevin Owens and Giant Knoxville. You can see those in past um, videos if you'd like. Um, yeah, so then right here I have this is for the lights. So if I want to make like the arena red or blue or yellow, I use that. I really want to use. I would probably never use yellow because um, it just makes the quality look bad. The blue and the red I'll probably use most likely in the future. So this is where I have my thoughts and ideas book. So this is like for like predictions or results videos. I put it right into here. 
Um, here's my accessory pouch with all my belts in it. This is where I store the spinny disc at. Not gonna really, it's a mirror, so I don't want to flash my face yet. Um, this is all my thumbtacks right there. Yes, it's annoying. I have a yellow one in there, but and I use the clear ones because like it just makes it look more nice. But I have a bunch of yellow and blues and red somewhere up there. Um, and then here's my knife that I use to cut open the boxes. Um, over here I have the shelf brackets. I just threw it in there. And you can see in my accessories box right here. Come on. So this is where I keep all my my interchangeable hands, my head scans, the belts, um, all the other like small clothing accessories. You can see I have my Cody Rhodes um, legs right there. I have an American flag that I got somewhere. It wasn't. It didn't come in any action figure, but I just put it in there. Um, then we have the Matt Hardy drone, um, the Doink the Clown, um, one leg lamp, Hulk Hogan thing. Yeah, the demon head. And then I, I don't know who this is. I think this is Rick Rude's upper body. So yeah, so that's where I keep all that other good stuff in there. So this, like every single time that I end off a action figure review, and every single time it has uh, head or not head scan, but like um, interchangeable uh, hands, and I always put the interchangeable hands in there, or I swap them out with the hands that they already. God damn it! Let's, hold on, I'm setting this down real quick. This is starting to piss me off. All right, so come on, close up. Alright, that's that. So we're already hitting the 12 minute mark right here. So moving down here, we have, um, yes, my name is Jace. If you didn't know that, that's why it's called Jace 2 Wrestling. But this is where I put all my receipts for, like, you can see that my arena, I have wood. And then this is the black, just poster board. And then I have, I built this table, um, customized table, so then I could fit it in between this wall right here because it goes from there to there. So I just fit it in there. And I made it pretty perfect. So, um, yeah, so this is for all my wood and, like, my poster boards, and, um, I kind of quit doing this, but, like, once I start getting money off of this, I will for sure get my money back from all this stuff, so then I know that I am pretty good. You can see right here, I have a phone microphone kit, but with newer phones, uh, they don't come with, um, or at least the phone I have doesn't come with a hole you can plug in, so that's kind of useless now. I have, like, a whiteboard thing here if I ever, like, write down notes or whatever. Um, I have a charger for my computer, the computer that I, um, I edit on and stuff. All right. So right here is my craft accessories, you can see right there. So I have other thumbtacks right here, but it's a green and red, so I stopped really using these. Um, I have, like, a glue gun in here. I have another, well, I have another tape dispenser in here. Is this empty? Oh, that's full. You know, I'm actually going to put that right in here because I'm going to use up these little ones way before I use the, the big one back there. Um, it has, I have paint in here. I have some pretty expensive tape. I don't know why this is in here. I got markers, pens, and pencils in there. And then my old, um, phone holder thing. And then I have Millie Putty, what I was going to do for my, um, my, uh, JTW belt, but I kind of, um finished with that so over here i have another box and that's just with more like craft stuff so i got like silver duct tape and then i have rulers and more pens and um you can see that this letter stuff right here is actually what um is the blue stuff right here the jtw right there i got that and <laughs> kind of a waste of money but at least i got my three letters that i wanted out of there but you know what maybe in the future i'll Make a difference. So come on, don't do this to me again. I don't like closing boxes with one hand. Well, I already have one hand basically because I kind of broke my knuckle. So close that on up right there. So oh, I did that one. I'm gonna move my tripod over a little bit. And then right down here is the heavy one because so this is where my tripod tripod box came in. Um, this is my WWE United States toy belt that I got years ago. It doesn't even fit me anymore because I got bigger. You can see back with old elites, they came with these, like, figure stands and the ringside collectible, um, like, un just future figures or whatever. More black poster board. 
Um, I have my ultimate Brock Lesnar right here. I, I'm one day I'm gonna get my ultimates on display, and then I have like a WWE poster right there. I got books of WWE. I got all my like my Firefly Funhouse. I got my Walter. My Cameron Grimes is down there. This is just a cluster. Um, <laughs> just a cluster. Yeah. Come on here. And I have a. I made this. Oh my God! I'm making a mess. And right here, I made this. Um, I saw this online somewhere, and then I'm like, you know, I gotta make this for myself. So it's The Miz versus MJF, and I think it's a pretty dope um, poster. And took up a lot of ink on my printer, but you know what? It's worth it, and I really don't put it on display. So, um, so yeah, so that's my big drawer. So uh, I already showed you my boxes up here, hitting the 50, almost a 16 minute mark. So now we can move up to here. Sorry for the line, cause I, if you tell. This is my ceiling, and I have no lighting up there at all. And I only have the lights that are over there. So then, move on over here. Um, we have my AEW shelving. You can see, don't mind the light. What up there? Oh, look at that. So I go from, I try to go from tallest to shortest, but in, there's some figures that are um, taller than others. But I start off with the Brody Lee with the TNT Championship right there. Jake Hager, keep on coming down here. So you can see that I have some WWE elites in there, but because they are part of um, AEW, so I just put them up there because I don't have um, their AEW figures yet. So keep on going down here. We have Arn Anderson right there. Uh, the tag team champion, or I think FTR is tag team champions. Um, so Samoa Joe is no longer TNT champion. I think it's Powerhouse Hobbs, but... Um, if I don't have the Superstar, I just put the figure on, or I put the belt on the, um, pass figure holder if I have their, um, figure. Um, and then we have the current AEW, uh, world champion MJF right there. You can see I did the review on him a few videos back. And then off Adam Cole, Buddy Matthews, and Darby Allen right there, you can see. And then right over here, I have my AEW boxes starting from Dustin, coming on down. You can see there, and then right there coming on down, and then you get to see the MJF. This is where I have my box. This is where I have my Cody Rhodes um, AEW big old box, and my light switch is right here. And the reason why, I don't know, I get every single time that like I go to shut off my light and I turn it back on, I always like hit my box, and then this thing just falls off. So now that we got into that, there is whoa, whoa, whoa. I fell. All right, so um. Right there, there's your overview of the, i am turn off my light there, there's my overview of my wrestling room. It's just a little room, and I have my big room dedicated to my living space, but now we've got to go into my living space, and to make, um, to the WWE action figure shelving. So, um, you can see, starting down, I got one, two, three, four, five, six shelves on this one wall right here um it doesn't look like i got much elites but um i don't to be honest but so starting up top we have kind of duplicate action figures i do have some other duplicates because i have like duplicates of biggie right here and kevin owens and i'm pretty sure there's some other somewhere else but yeah like the brock lesnar's right up here um but I just kind of put these up here, like Randy Orton, um, Shinsuke Nakamura, all of my three Riddles, the Apollo Crews, my two John Cena's, and my four um, Bray or Wyatt's. Yeah, four Bray Wyatt's right up there. Um, then I start from tallest, and then I go down and to shortest, and that makes it all the way to this Rey Mysterio right here. So then my Rey Mysterio all the way to Omas is my main um, roster. Um, Riddle and Shinsuke and Randy, I believe so, um, and Bray are part of the main roster, but I just put them up there because I don't want it to be like, there's a Bray right there, then a Bray right here, and then a Bray, yeah, I don't want to do that, so I just kept her up there, so, you can see, uh, the Intercontinental Champion, I put all the champions on the, um, on the superstars that achieved them or are currently holding them, and so you can see Gunther right there, and Roman Reigns, um, so, and also, the reason I have this AEW Cody Rhodes is because Cody Rhodes is currently signed to WWE, and I do not have his WWE, uh, WWE um, action figure quite yet, and once I get a WWE Elite, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that Cody on there or move that Cody to the AEW shelf and then put the WWE Elite Cody right up there. But for now, I have that AEW one up here. Um, moving on down, you can see the dramatic height difference between these two AJ Styles. Um, we've got New Day right here. The current Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Champions. You can see my Kevin Owens Elite that I just um, uh, reviewed yesterday. Nice Ace Champion. Johnny Knoxville right there. Moving on down. Then it ends off at Rey Mysterio where the main roster goes. And then I have my just my regular, um, just my just whatever um, action figure. So you can see I have a Velveteen Dream, EC3 to T-Bar. Alrighty, so um, my camera just cut off. It, I don't believe it was because um, low storage. is because I think I accidentally clicked the button. And I didn't realize because I did all the talking and I just realized that I... <laughs> I goofed so let's go back so I'm gonna start off with the Velveteen Dream to EC3 T-Bar um Connor and then we have my custom Drew Gulak right here and then moving on you can see this John Morrison action figure right here and um he was an AEW but I'm not sure if he currently is now he was up on my AEW shelf a while ago when I had her up but um, I decided, I'm like, you know what, he ain't going to have much space with the new MJF figure coming up. But I, he does have space, but I'm just going to put him on this, um, whatever, my just my random elites that I got. Moving down, Cameron Grimes, Basso Champa, Wesley, and then we got Hornswoggle right here. So he's not really an elite. I'm not sure because he came in a basic box, and I wish I kept this box, but unfortunately I did not. And so I got this. It was a very expensive um, gift from a certain somebody and I really love this action figure. Um, I've always wanted it since I've collected and I got it. I got it actually a while ago. I got this figure like years ago. Moving down here we got my Legends um, shelf. So it starts out from the tallest Undertaker that I got here. Moves all the way down. You can see Rock, Warriors, Austin, um, Orton, Henry, the build, the Mr. Man, Mr. McMahon action figure, Ric Flair, I have the big... Alrighty, my phone just cut off again, and that wasn't me that time, because I was watching the button while it happened, so my phone did cut off, but I got some storage back just a little, so hopefully it doesn't cut out on me, so, um, yeah, so where I was, I believe I was at the Ric Flair, big gold, not sure why I put on Ric Flair, he just looked good on it, but I, I think he's a former big gold champion, but who knows, but, um, right here, then we start with the more shorter legends right here, Bret Hart, Van Damme, um, Devon, then it comes into the women's side of the shelf, so the perfect amount of women's elites that I have kind of, like, was right on the edge. So if you come down here, you can start off from the tallest Nia Jax, and then moving on for or moving on, we got the um, new SmackDown Women's Champion Rhea Ripley. We got my two Ronda Rouseys right there, and then um I well before my first time when my camera cut, I went over to my um thing over there, my accessories pouch, and I got the Smack or not SmackDown, but my Women's Tag Team Championships because. Uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan retained that, or not retained, but achieved um, tag team gold after defeating um, Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus because Lita was injured, and Trish Stratus kind of ruined that for both Lita and Becky, and now we get to see a dream match maybe between Becky and Trish in the future, maybe WrestleMania Backlash, so who knows, I might have to get a Becky Lynch before then, and... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So that's why I don't have them on their shoulders. But once this, um, once I get done with this, I will for sure put them on. But and where I was when I just figured out that I, um, where I was when I just figured out that uh, my um, camera cut off. Um, I was right here. So I was talking about how. Um, so you can see that this is my stool right here that I use. You can see that I have like a knee print in that because I put my knee right there when I'm um recording videos or i'm sitting down in them so if i'm like super close i'm like usually kneeling or if i'm if it sounds like i'm far away i'm kind of like sitting down farther and right here you can see that i have my jtw editing computer right here <laughs> i'm blocking that off because i don't want to expose my face so then this is my jtw die cut um sticker right there is my logo um this is my computer that i edit with and stuff and um yeah, you can see that my strip, uh, my uh, power strip is right there with all my stuff and whatever. But 
Alright, so I got one more thing before I move, or before I end the video, and it's going to maybe reach the 30 minute mark, but right over here, this is where I have my TV, so usually right here, I do my, um, like, watching my videos, reviewing them, um, seeing what I can do better, seeing what I did good, and whatever, and, um, right here, you can see my most recent, I have my WWE Elite Series 101 Kevin Owens action figure right there, posted 19 hours ago, 42 views, 66 views, 6 days ago, not the best work, but you know what, you can see my NS Productions announcement, NS, please acknowledge me, NS Productions, acknowledge me that you saw this video. <laughs> like, come on, man. But, um, yeah, so you can see that right there. So, um, or when I'm, like, usually bored, I watch videos or do whatever. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. You got to see the behind the scenes, um, of my JTW room. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. You got to see my shelves, which I've been, um, building up to for a while now. So, um, after this video, I am not sure what to do anymore. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to be ordering me a Becky Lynch, um, Elite shortly with my trusty old, um, computer, computer down here. Um, but I think I've covered almost everything that I want to cover, so... Let that be said, um, I, it's going to be kind of... I'm going to try to find a unique way to make, like, a thumbnail. I think I might do, like, a thumbnail like that. Or whatever I come up with, we'll do. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below of what you want me to do in future videos. I need it desperately, please. Um, and I am somewhat working on my JTW show. Haven't got to recording yet. I'm trying to get to what I want to do to make it big and how I'm going to do it. But... Uh, who knows? I was saying that last year, but, <laughs> hey, 2023 is, like, on damn near in the middle of 23, and I still haven't done much about that, but, um, I don't know. I think that's it for that, so, let that be said, adios, goodbye, and see you in... I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me 